Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Thanks for joining me for this process video. I was asked by Erica Thompson from Erica Rose Creates to join in on her YouTube hop celebrating 1,000 subscribers. It was so nice of her to ask me. I'm joining like some amazing scrappers on this hop. So on screen, you've seen some of the supplies I'm going to use. I will tell you more about them as I start using them. We were given two cut files designed by Lacey Gasper. She co-owns Click Kits. She designed two cut files for us. This one here is Confetti Stripe, and the other one is that Celebrate up above. Now, the Celebrate had the little holes in the middles of the BRA, but I like leaving them open. I think it's more whimsical, and it shows the backing more. This is vellum from Pretty Little Studio called Giggle Squiggle. I love that name. It's so cute. I'm using a lot of components from the Coco Vanilla Studio Boys Rule Collection. I also have pulled some stickers from Bella Boulevard and you can't see it too well right now, but some chipboard from Gossamer Blue. Sadness, I'm still missing Gossamer Blue. So I go off to cut the branding strip from the paper and while I cut my photos, I will tell you more about this hop. There are three prizes. A $15 gift certificate to Lacey Bug Creations, a $25 gift certificate to Click Kits, a prize pack from Erica Rose worth over $50, if that's of scrappy goodies. And Erica is having these two cut files for free on her channel for the next two days. So I believe that's September 7th through 9th. Now that I've cut my photos, I decide to flip the cut file to have the confetti on the right because the photo I printed of my daughter bigger is on that side. Just the way she's facing, it would have been weird to have her the opposite way. So I start placing the elements on top of the background. I chose the Coco Vanilla Studio paper that has all the splatters. And then the top one is actually a Felicity Jane paper. I haven't told you what I'm scrapping yet, have I? So this was my daughter in 2010. She did a recital. She used to do in preschool some dance. The theme was under the sea. So that's why I had pulled those Bella Boulevard marine kind of stickers to see if that might fit well with this layout. You saw me there flipping around the Coco Vanilla Studio paper just to see where the different colorings would fit best and I decided that the side that has more variation in color would be best on that confetti side. I want more interest there. Those sequins come from a company called Craft Medley and it's a mix that's called Rhythm and Blues. You can get them at scrapbook.com. I'll put a link in the description. So I'm just making sure that this is going to look good when I put the reverse of the confetti on top of the background. I put my title back on and I like it, so I'm going to commit to that. I'll be back after I've glued everything on. Here I'm putting the last of the little confetti in. I just didn't want you to have to sit through me gluing everything on. I am using the Kukuyo dot liner. It's a very long dot liner. It's 36 meters and I love, love, love it. For those of you that may not have heard me mentioned before I was on the Scrap Gals podcast episode 215 and we talked about adhesives that one's titled stick it stick it real good so you should check that out if you haven't some great stuff that we discuss and this is one of my favorite dot runners ever I like that it holds more than the really small ones now that I've revealed all that fabulous confettiness I just want to place my photos in a row, but I'm going to stagger it a little bit and I don't want to cover up too much of the confetti. I put the title back where I've been considering it and then I am going to go off to cut the backing for the Celebrate. All I did with the cut file was to release the compound path and then just deleted everything inside and that way I just had the outline and it fits perfectly. Another glue that is one of my faves is the Liquitex Matte Medium, and that's another one I discussed on the podcast episode. It is matte, 
like the Ranger Tim Holtz matte medium, but at a fraction of the cost, and it's more liquidy than the Scotch quick dry. So I find that it works perfectly in the fine line bottle. I have had no problems whatsoever, and it dries clear, no shiny spots, and it's just it works really great for these really thin cut files. I'll put a link to where you can get that as well in the description. So I finished patting that down really good. It doesn't come off at all. And then I place my title back on. I'm going to pull a few of the boys rule chipboard and die cuts just to see if anything clicks yet. I really wanted to make this sticker work because it reminded me of in the actual performance, you know, like curtains coming down, but I just couldn't make it work. So giving up on that for a second, I go ahead and put some red line tape on the acrylic. That's from Ellie Studio, the U. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now. I went away to cut my journaling down into strips and I start doing some matting behind my photos. For my large photo, I decided to mat it with one of the papers from the 6x8 paper pack for the Boys Rule collection, that's Coco Vanilla Studio. Because I wanted to call even more attention to that one, I picked a really dark paper and it has little stars. And then I'm using chipboard and die cut frames for the other two photos. The frames, I'm actually not going to put above the photos. The photos were printed just a bit too small to fit in those openings. So I'm going to go ahead and put the photos on top of all of them. And you can see I'm skewing them a little bit because I like that look a lot more than having them like squarely lined up. Having them a little wonky adds to the whimsy, and this layout has the strips across, which already look blocky to me, so I didn't want to add to the blockiness. I briefly moved the title up. My thought was that I wanted to call more attention to her face, and I really like how this looks right here, but then when I get my journaling strips on, it feels like the verticalness of the title going straight down into the journaling is competing with the confetti effect on the right and I really wanted that to shine. So I am going to go ahead and move my title back down and then I'm going to place my journaling. I like this a lot more. It sort of blends into the right a bit and then I will be tying that in. and there's a little bit of white space at the top. Now I pull out some sequins. Her dress was all sequined up. It's so pretty. So these are the sequins I mentioned before from Craft Medley. I'm going to sprinkle them all the way up to reinforce the confetti. And that's one of my favorite techniques. This is sprinkling little bits. These sequins here are slightly smaller. They come from a website called ccartwright.com. And they're like a website where you can get bulk sequins. This mix, I believe, is an iridescent rainbow. And these are a little smaller than the other ones. I pulled out the Gossamer Blue chipboard. And I was only able to use a few, but they're, they work perfectly on this website. One says yay, one says yes, today. And then there's this little asterisk. Those are the ones that are like a grayish blue colors. I should mention I did cut away a bit of the gluing down of the sequins. The larger ones I used mini glue dots and the smaller ones I'm using that Liquitex matte medium again. The glue dots come up really easily. You can see I'm adjusting here. The Liquitex also I don't have too much of a problem as long as I move things around fairly soon after I glue them. I moved forward and cut some things out because there was a whole bunch more gluing involved. But what I've done is I added some more of the frames. These are smaller and they're on both sides of my row of photos. I didn't want to do anything too symmetric. So they're one on the corner and one sort of in the middle. 
I added a couple of glittery hearts right where the frames meet up. Those have been in my stash for a long time and actually they were some stickers for my kids. I don't like a lot of glitter so I don't have much glittery product but I'm glad I had these because they're the perfect little touch on this layout. I also nestle little stars in the blank spaces. I wanted to add just a little more detail so I went and got my tiny attacher. Here I'm opening it up so that I can staple in the middle of the layout. I just tested it on the foam glitter hearts and it works so here I am stapling them on and then what I normally do is grab my I have a little pliers and I since it's a nice thick metal that's what I use to bend the tines down and then I stick some washi on the back so that the tines won't get stuck on anything last thing this layout needs is a date. You'll notice that my journaling is printed gray on vellum. I really wanted to keep everything soft on this layout, not have the harsh black and not have like strips of white. So out of the inks that I would pulled at the beginning, I ended up using the lightest of the bunch, which is from Studio Calico, the gray area and that matched the printed vellum pretty good. There I'm showing it to you. I'm slowing down to real time so I can show you some close-ups. Hopefully you can see some of that sparkle. It's so hard to capture with the camera. And then I'm gonna have some still shots coming up while you watch those. I will reiterate that this is for the Erica Rose Creates celebration video hop that she reached 1,000 subscribers there are three prizes, the $15 gift certificate to Lacey Bug Creations, the $25 gift certificate to Click Kits, the prize pack from Erica worth over $50. To enter for a chance to win, you have to do two things. You have to sub to Erica Rose Creates and you have to comment on everyone's video in the hop. I have all the links below. The next one on the list is Hannah Lemieux and she just does such fabulous work. I can't wait to see what she's done. In addition to your comment below, I hope you give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel, coming from this hop, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you here next time.